Tips. Today we're going to be talking about four characteristics. And this is real important because what we're looking at is results. I'm not talking about the technique of hitting anything. What I'm talking about is after you hit the ball, what did it do? Did it go where you wanted it to go? Was it as deep as you wanted it to go? Did it have the power? Did you absorb some power and take some power off the ball? Did it go in the direction that you wanted it to go in? All of those are huge. I'm going to give you four characteristics to the results of your swing. Whatever shot you're hitting, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter whether you're hitting a volley, doesn't matter whether you're hitting a backhand, doesn't matter whether you're hitting an overhead, okay? So these are the four characteristics. Number one, and the most important, this is the foundation, meaning everything you do rests on this. Any shot you hit, whether, whatever side it's on, doesn't matter. Whatever stroke it is, it doesn't matter. The number one thing you have to have is consistency because without consistency, you've got nothing. The next characteristic is direction. So there's only two directions a ball goes in. It goes cross court or it goes straight ahead. And if I'm close to the line, that's called a down the line. And anything in between that. So controlling the direction of your ball is important because you need to be able to hit the right shot into the right part of the court. And the further you take a player off the court, the more opportunity you give that player to open court. So direction is very important in tennis. So we have consistency, we have direction, now we have power. So power can be very useful as long as it's effective. So power is not only hitting the ball as hard as you can, power also means absorbing someone else's power and slowing the ball down. So be aware that sometimes we use the other player's power by absorbing it to control the ball. Controlling the power of the ball is huge because once you can control the power of the ball, you get the fourth characteristic. The fourth characteristic is the underlying culprit of all of the points that you lose and all of the points that you win. But yet, it's the least characteristic that anybody refers to. But it is the reason, the underlying reason, it is the core to you having problems on the tennis court when it comes to a player pressuring you. And that is the depth of the tennis ball. A ball that is deep and close to the baseline is usually a tennis ball that will keep a player back and in most cases keeps that player from really doing what they want to do with the ball. That same ball that is hit to the service line allows the player to move forward when they hit it, allowing them to be more powerful and they be able to make choices as to where they want to hit the tennis ball. So a ball that pushes you is a more dangerous ball than a ball that pulls you. When the ball's pulling you, you get to move forward and that's usually a benefit to you. What's important here is that you understand the four characteristics, consistency, direction, power, and depth. Consistency being the underlying core of your game and depth being the ultimate control over the ball. Keep in mind that we're trying to make you a better player every day. And all we're doing is adding to your game, we're not taking away. So by adding this to your game, you're gonna become a better player. I'm George Cobia. thanks for coming to my court. Click the like button down below, subscribe. Let's play tennis.